Hi, Corey Geiger, Neil Riddell. Very disappointing showing for Penn State tonight, Neil. 28-22 loss, and really just did not play well against another good opponent. They 0-5 against quality teams this year. Yeah, this was their chance to, uh, you know, end the season uh, with some momentum, carry some momentum into the bowl game, and because uh, I think Michigan State is a pretty good team. Uh, I'm not sure they're a great team, but uh, Penn State laid another egg, particularly in the first half. Um, I totaled up. I mean, they, other than the Ohio State first half, they scored one touchdown in the four losses in the first half against Illinois, Iowa, Alabama, and, and, and uh, Michigan State. The team's inability to put together a 60-minute game. A lot of the players, and Jay Paterno talked about that after the game. What is it about them that either makes them not ready at the opening kickoff or for the second half or, or what ha whatever it may be, they're just not capable of putting together a complete game plan? I mean, I think they're getting outcoached. I think they're getting outcoached during the week. I think, you know, the motivation pregame, they're not, they're not, it doesn't appear that they're coming out with a lot of fire or that they're overly well prepared. And I also think that some of this is, um, you know, you could always count on Penn State to be defensively keep you in games, and they don't have defensive talent uh, or nearly as much as they used to. Yeah, and I would agree with that. Just the bottom line for me is they just don't have the horses this year. It's not the X's and O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's, and they don't have they don't have the guys on this team on both sides of the ball, the playmakers on offense, the playmakers on defense. They just don't have it, and with the way the recruiting stacks up over the next couple of years, will they have it to where they can get back to a 10-2 and two caliber team? I think not when, when you have a coaching staff that is on the other side of their, uh, of their real recruiting ability. I mean, I just think that there's this... You've seen the erosion of this great program uh, these last few years, and uh, you know now you lose on Senior Day for the first time since '99 and the second time since '89. Joe Paterno said earlier in the week that he plans to return next season. Doesn't mean that he will. I mean, really, we don't know what his health situation might be like. We don't know if there's anything going on within the university. But, you know, so there, there was a possibility that this was Joe's last game at Beaver Stadium. Everything else that's going to happen next fall, I don't know that anybody has a, a total grasp on that. Yeah, because I, I, the, the whole recruiting problem is, it, it, I mean, it's a, it's a year-round cycle. So once they get through this and, you know, complete this class with another seven or eight kids or however many it is, they got to get right into getting early commitments through April and May and June. And if there's any question on Joe's status or how long that, that he's going to coach, uh, and, and, and frankly, at this stage of the game, how much can he really f effectively recruit? What kind of future are they selling? It just has come to the point where they need definition. Now, we look ahead to the bowl season. It, looked, it appeared going into the day that they would be going to the uh, Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. However, Iowa with a stunning loss to Minnesota. I just don't see how that Iowa team we saw in week five is losing to the Minnesota team that was 0-7 and fired its coach. I mean, it's really an amazing turn of events in college football. So now you have Iowa and Penn State at 7-5. and Iowa did beat Penn State, but if you're the Outback Bowl, which one are you taking? I would take Penn State. I think you're going to have a little bit more of a Kind of a big name matchup, whether regardless of what SEC team. I was just there two years ago. You do have Joe. It is a possibility it would be his last game. So you have that to sell. Yeah, and uh, I don't think either Iowa or Penn State fan base is going to be overly excited. And my guess is there's still a lot more Penn Staters that live in Florida than Iowa. I was lost three in a row. I was in the Outback Bowl two years right. ago. Now, let's just break it down. We don't know who the opponent would be in the Outback Bowl, but it would be a, an upper-tier SEC team. We're talking either Arkansas, LSU, Alabama, South Carolina, uh, Florida, someone, uh, one of those kind of teams. And that would give Penn State, if they could play in that bowl game, probably wouldn't be Florida, by the way, but it would give Penn State a very good opponent and if you can beat that team, then maybe we look differently upon the season. But if, but if you don't, then you're looking at seven and six. Right. And uh, I would have to think that you're looking at Penn State being a, a touchdown underdog, no matter who they play. Easily, easily. So, all right.
We'll see where they're going to go for the bowl season. We may not know till the first week of December. Boise's loss uh, really changes some things. But one thing I, I want to say in closing, congratulations to those Michigan State kids. Michigan State has lost by an average of 23 points at Beaver Stadium in these senior day games since Penn State joined the Big Ten. That was a very good Michigan State team. Mark D'Antonio is probably going to get my vote for National Coach of the Year I just thought, the guy had a heart attack this year, yeah. and they win a Big Ten title. Yeah, they coached three games in the press box, and he missed a game entirely. They felt two years ago, I don't know how much people got into this in the Michigan State uh, locker room because we were at Penn State, but they felt Penn State ruled the score up two years ago when they came in. Pat Devlin came in late and was allowed to throw a long touchdown pass with about a 30-point lead. So D'Antonio called two timeouts in the last um, – you know, minute of the game, so there, there was some there was some motivation. All right, for Neil Riddell, I'm Corey Geiger. We will be back during the bowl season. Thanks.